Coach, opening comments. Oh, yeah, it was a you know hard fought game. I felt like we finally played a game where we were in it, you know, through the fourth quarter, uh, which is a different experience for us this season. Uh, but you know, proud of the effort that we gave. Um, Central's a great uh, basketball team. Um, thought they executed well, got to the foul line like they needed to, um, and just things that we can definitely improve upon um, moving forward. I think I heard you uh, tell Jeff you can't defend <laughs> the free throw line. Uh, they made more than twice than we attempted. Yeah. I mean, I'm never going to put a, you know, the, the game is called the way the game is called. And what I just told our team is we have to adjust and we have to learn how the officials are calling it. Um, and, yeah, the, the opponent got to the foul line 41 times. Um, we could have stopped fouling and stopped being as aggressive, like, with our reaches or with being late defensively, putting ourselves in positions that forced us to foul. We could have stopped doing that. Uh, and then we could have used that against them as well. You know, if the officials want to call a tight basketball game and, and call all the contact, I think we could have done a better job of getting that getting to the foul line ourselves um, and we stopped being aggressive we stopped turning the corner and attacking um, we started settling for some threes or some mid-range which wasn't our game plan from the start so absolutely we can't defend the foul line but we can definitely do a better job of adjusting to how the game is going to be called menace with 13 points and, and doubting with 15 points both players had career highs today Talk about you know their impact on the game. Yeah, I think both of them are offensive weapons for us. Um, we've, we've seen them, um, you know, Naeli Dowling has been a weapon for us all season. She's been one of our go-tos. It's a brand new role for her this year. So, you know, she's still learning when's a good shot, when's not a good shot, and realizing that every shot she probably takes for us is a good one. Uh, and then, you know, Ziggy uh, Minnis, she's, uh, just got the prettiest shot, so we're trying to find her more opportunities to score and to, to really be a threat for us. Um, we're trying to put her at the three and the four at times, but there are two people that we really rely on uh, to hit some shots for us, and I thought Ziggy started off really strong. Um, you know, maybe was a little fatigued towards the end of the game, played a lot of minutes today that she's not used to, so you know, it's just part of getting in shape and then just fi finding her more opportunities to rest so she can hit big shots for us at the end. One of the things is effort doesn't go into slumps. And you have to be excited about the effort that you guys put in for 40 minutes today. Yeah, I mean, I think that's who we are. Um, that's really what we've been pre preaching all season. I mean, there's games and matchups that we can't control who we're playing against, you know, who the competition is, and sometimes they're better than us. But what we can control is our effort, um, the way we play, how we pick up each other, um, the team aspect of, of the game. Like, those are things that we want to be known for is just never, never stop fighting. Um, and so, yeah, our effort is always there for 40 minutes. It doesn't matter what the score is. We're always going to give everything we have until that final final buzzer. I'm just I'm proud of them. Um, they impressed me with that. Um, so th I think that's going to be a trademark for Hartford women's basketball moving forward. Having final comments. Uh, no, I, I'm going to say this every time. I'm really just this team impresses me with the courage that they play with. Um, they show up every single day wanting to fight, wanting to work hard, wanting to get better. Um, even in the situation that they're in, uh, you can't tell with how hard they work and how hard they want to be here and do the best they can for Hartford. So, you know, they, they impress me every single day. They have my utmost respect for the courage they bring every day. And I just want people to know that, you know, they're, they're a great group of young women. And sometimes the score doesn't reflect the effort that they put in. Uh, but we should be proud uh, of how they represent us every day. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day.